let's get uh, install node rate on our Raspberry Pi so you can see on a top right corner there's a documentation so if you click documentation you have a getting started and under getting started you can see there are several options so if you want to install a node rate on your local machine that means your Windows machine or computer you can look at this one we are certainly interested in installing node rate on Raspberry Pi so we will click on this one but there are a lot of different options like where you want to install node rate on a cloud or docker or something something right so I'm going to click on this Raspberry Pi because I want to install this onto the Raspberry Pi. Now you can see there's a command like this one, bash and something something. So I can copy this command and I will go on my Raspberry Pi terminal, just paste the URL and hit enter. So basically this URL will start installation of a node rate on the Raspberry Pi. Now it asks me are you really sure you want to install node rate? Yes, so I will type Y and hit enter and then would you like to install Pi specific nodes? Yes, I would go with it and you see it gives us a kind of menu where it installs step by step all these applications. So it first stop the node rate because sometimes when you uh, install node rate on Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi does have uh, built-in node rate uh, means pre-installed node rate on Raspberry Pi but that version node rate version on Raspberry Pi it is possible that it will be the older version which may be a little bit creepy or it may work sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it's better to run this command and make sure you have the latest node rate latest and most updated node rate installed on your raspberry pi and once we install the node rate on the raspberry pi we then can able to i will show you then how to access the node rate means basically to run node rate on raspberry pi and then access node rate from your internet browser that means our google chrome As you can see after a long waiting time we can see the node rate is installed on our Raspberry Pi and it say you can start node rate with command node rate start right so in order to start the node rate on Raspberry Pi we just have to type node hyphen rate hyphen start and this command when we hit enter this will basically start the node rate server on our Raspberry Pi and you can see it says like the node rate flow is started. Now the question is how we can able to access the node rate running on Raspberry Pi. And now you know on the top left corner you see the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. That's where the node rate is running. I can go to Bitwise SSH client. I can grab the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. Okay. And then I will open the browser, open a new tab, and then paste the IP address of Raspberry Pi colon 1880. Now 1880 is a node rate port uh, on which the node rate server listens. So when I hit enter, you can see it will present us a nice beautiful user interface. Uh, that's where we're gonna uh, design a node flow or develop a logic uh, that we want to program uh, with the hardware, okay? So let me just introduce you quickly how the node rate is organized. On the left side of the pan, you can see uh, if I expand the common section, you can see there are a lot of different boxes here. And these boxes are basically a node palettes, right? So this is a common and then you see under the functions, there are a few boxes. And uh, under the network, you have MQTT protocol and then HTTP protocol and then WebSocket and other whatever you need in order to work with your IoT projects. All the blocks would have been given here. Okay. And you can also see uh, a Raspberry Pi specific boxes here, Raspberry Pi and all other things. So what basically I wanted to show you is you have everything that you need here on your node rate. Um, uh, dashboard okay and on the right side you see there's an information section so there's a flow stuff flow and other things we don't care this what all the things that matters to us is this on the top right corner there's a bug kind of icon is there so if I click it will be the debug window you can see debug window and this is where we will going to see the output from our node flow so if you want me to make a simple program that prints the hello world after every second then I will take this inject node on the top left corner I can drag and drop it onto the 
uh, dashboard and then I will go and grab the debug node and uh, this is basically how we're gonna place the node palettes onto the uh, flow and you can move this kind of boxes this um, as you feel comfortable right the way it looks better now we have to double click this timestamp that's the inject box and then we have to give some name let's say I would say um, input okay you can give any name it just doesn't matter payload is the message and it will be a string because I want to send the famous program that's the hello world okay and um, I want to send it uh, you see there's a repeat interval and I would select under repeat I would select interval and then by default it takes one every one second okay you can change it like minute hour whatever you want I'm okay with one second because I want to print hello world after every one second and then I hit this done button and you see now the name has been changed as an input and the debug box shows message dot payload and on the top right corner you see there's a debug button here right color so if I click on debug this node means this program behind the node will be deployed means uh, transfer onto Raspberry Pi and you see on the left pan here I can just clear it for a second and you see it started streaming hello world every second okay that's simple that's how easy it is to um, do a programming and this wiring basically you can call it as a wiring or you can call it as a programming but it's very easy you can develop a logic you can do a very significant task without writing any single line of code and that's why node rate is so popular and so effective to make iot projects and even other cloud related projects okay i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining if you want you can check out the link in a youtube description box thank you very much and see you into the next lesson Bye bye